Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the second video I'm doing in the set of videos that show you how we're converting a client drawing to our 24 by 36 inch layout grid. So in the last video, we went ahead and got the title block kind of cut to size. And what I want to do now is insert our text baseline grid, and then um, we're going to grab these notes that the client has somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where they all went. There they are. We're going to grab these notes and we'll put them over here and uh, get them lined out on the grid uh, the way we want. And so I do have a uh, another video that kind of explains how baseline grids work, text baseline grids. Uh, so I'll try and remember to link to that in the comments. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, we're going to jump up to the zero layer. Oop. And we want to... Uh, insert the block that has our, our text baseline grid. So we're going to go ahead and insert a block. And if we go to RH templates, CAD, uh, RH templates, RH CAD sheets, there is a 24 by 36 inch text baseline grid right here. So let's go ahead and open that. Okay, and we're going to drop that at 0, 0. Okay, so now you can see we've got our baseline grid uh, laid out. Uh, it looks like we're missing one line here at the bottom. And so now what we can do is uh, we can actually lay lay our text out on this baseline grid. Okay, and I believe the way we use this is we uh, this these lines are the top of the text. So for example, I'm going to come down here and we're going to say top center. Okay, and then I'm going to draw. Uh, Give me a midpoint line here. Oop. Okay, so what I want now for this text is I want it to be lined up left to right on this center line, but I want it the top of the text, the insert note for the top of the text to, to line up with these with these lines that are on the baseline grid. Okay, I'm probably gonna just pull this up to an intersection right here. Okay, same thing here. We're going to change these to top center. Okay, and then we'll pull them up to the text baseline grid. This one we're just going to move up till it looks roughly, roughly in the right spot. Okay. So then uh, up here you can see we've got all kinds of stuff going on, right? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to grab these and we're going to uh, switch them to top center. Oop. Nope, we want top left probably. Okay, and then now we can pull them all down. And just because I'm anal retentive, I'm going to just do a one-tenth offset of this buffer here. Actually, you know what? We can just go right up against that buffer. So we're going to just do this. So we're just lining our text up on the baseline grid here. All right, now we're going to have to go in and fix our underlines, obviously. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and what I really need, though, is I need a, I need a line to, to move those two. Okay, so there's a six-tenth offset that I can use to line up my underlines. And then my underlines, I'm going to put, you know, it's it, it's tough here with the, with the text on the top. So what I'm actually going to do is um, I'm going to explode this block. And uh, I'm going to offset these a tenth because they're set on two-tenth spacing. And now I can move my underlines to there. And then we'll, we'll pull it over to this other buffer line here. Okay, and we'll do the same. Now that we have that in there, we can just copy this underline for the rest of these. So I'm going to get rid of these old underlines. Because we can just 
copy this new one up. That one I dorked up, I think. Okay, so now I've got my underlines in and I can start moving this text over. Okay, so these are probably block attributes that they've got in here. Okay, so this lines up now. Now I'm probably going to just move everything in here now up to the top. Alright, so this is lined up on the on the grid now. Uh, I'm not going to mess with this text because it's already kind of justified the way they want. Okay, so now I'm ready to move over some of the notes. So we're just going to come over here and grab the first note. Okay, so we've got these title exceptions here. Okay, so we're going to just grab this whole chunk. And uh, we're going to come over here and paste it in. Okay, now you remember... Um, I've got this area here, two cells tall, and then I got this area here, two cells wide. Okay, and I, I just know that I'm going to probably put these title exceptions on their own sheet. Okay, uh, but uh, like the basis of bearing and the surveyor statement, I will try and get on the first sheet. So let's copy over the surveyor statement. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this in. Now, they just the way they do it, is they have everything together in one in-text block, which I don't necessarily love, but we're going to see if we can make it work. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and line it up on this grid. Okay, and so I actually don't like this. I don't like it being together because then it makes it hard to line up the text on the baseline grid. Okay, so I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to cut this out. This text I'm going to cut out. Okay, and we're going to make it its own uh, we're going to make it its own item. Okay, so we're going to copy this um, M text down here. Okay, and we're going to just go in and edit this. So what I'm doing is I'm separating the title or the heading uh, from the body text, right? Okay, and uh, you'll be able to see why I do that here in a second. Okay, so now uh, this is top left justified and it's lining up correctly but you can see as I go down the, the text this two should be right up here and it's not right so this has dorked up uh, line spacing and so let me show you how to fix that so we're going to come over here and I talk about that in my other video too by the way I always like my text size to be at least a tenth and then uh, so right here where it says line space style the defaults at least and we don't want that we want exactly okay because we're going to set this to be exact Okay, and then uh, we're going to find the line spacing here. Let's see if this will move it. Let's see, and I think what I want to do here is bump it down so the top of the T's at this next line, or bump it up. Let's try 1.1. Okay, so now I've got it. See how when I set that to 1.2, now each new row of text is hitting the baseline, right? Um, and that's what we want. It looks beautiful. The only one that's not working is down here. And I'm not sure why that is. So why is that? Yeah, so for some reason, that is not working. So that works. So we're just going to fix it here.
So when we're done, you'll notice that I got this in the wrong spot, right? So I went over too far. And so it's overlaying on my viewport, which we don't want. So I actually need to come over here to where it goes. And you can see it's it's too wide, right? So that's not a big deal. We just grab this here, grab our M text, and then slide it over to the buffer line here. Okay, and so now it's lined up in the right column, and it's also lined up on the baseline grid, right? This is a thing of beauty. Okay, this is why we get hired to do what we do. Okay, so now we can actually freeze the baseline grid and the layout grid. Now, okay, and we can see how this looks, right? So looks good. We've got the right amount of buffer on each side. And uh, this is a thing of beauty, right? So I'm almost done with this video. It's going a little long, but I want to do one more. So I'm just going to go layer P. And um, actually, we're just going to we're going to freeze all the layers here. Okay, so we want to grab our next note and make it fit here. Okay, so we're going to come back over, and we're going to grab the uh, basis of bearing note, and they've got it in there with the benchmark, which I'm not going to have a benchmark on this. Okay, so we just want to grab the basis of bearing. Okay, so I'm going to copy that, come over here. Now, we already we already split the heading, um, so we don't need to do that again. So we're actually going to just copy this heading down now. We can reuse this heading. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, and we're going to say basis of bearings. Okay, so I can, get, and then um, just a little trick here, so we don't have to redo this text. We're going to just copy this text in the notepad. So let me just move this over so you can see it. So I got it in Notepad. What that does, that just strips out the formatting. Okay, and now what I can do, get rid of this note now, I can go copy my body text now that has the right line spacing already set. Okay. And now I can paste in my text from Notepad, and it's already formatted property lining up. It's uh, formatted property, it's, it's lining up on the baseline grid. Okay, so let's, uh, let's freeze these grid lines again. And uh, now you can see this, this is going to look nice when we have it all done, right? Okay, so we can keep working on moving those notes over and getting them lined up on the baseline.